Hey guys, this is Allie with iMore, and today we're going to be comparing uh, two very popular notification enhancement applications or lock screen applications, uh, IntelliScreen X and Lock Info for iOS 5. Uh, now that we have a jailbreak uh, for iPhone 4S, iPad 2, a lot of people have been asking what's the differences between these two applications, which one's better. Um, and my personal preference right now is IntelliScreen X. Uh, that might change if Lock Info gets updates, but we're going to walk you through both. Um, right now I have IntelliScreen X loaded up. Uh, it's very fluid. Um, you've got this nice little thing called a top shelf. And it's got your quick toggles in here. Uh, I also plopped SB settings up here. I like to monitor my processes. Um, I know you can add toggles with IntelliScreen X. Um, I'm a huge fan of SB settings though, so I've actually dropped that in here as well. And then you can hide that top shelf. Um, this also appears on your lock screen. So, and this is one thing I like, uh, the default notifications in iOS 5, one thing I've never really cared for is how when you slide to unlock, it dismisses all of your notifications on your lock screen. I like to dismiss them on my own after I read them. So this is my personal preference. Uh, IntelliScreen X also comes uh, built in with Messages Plus, which uh, by itself in Cydia, I believe is $7.99. If you purchase IntelliScreen X for $9.99, uh, you also obtain a copy of Messages Plus at no additional charge. The way Messages Plus works, it's very similar to apps like Byte. Uh, I like the fact that it's a lot more integrated into iOS 5. It's actually integrated into the default messaging app. So you don't have an extra icon, nothing like that. Uh, you have a little default, it's a little button right down here in the corner. You tap that, and it'll come up with your message. And uh, all you have to do is type a message to someone and hit send and away it goes. Um, you can tap into messages here. When you tap a message what it does is it allows you to call the person, mark it as read, or reply. So if I hit reply here what it'll do is it'll load up this conversation and it'll let me type a message back or I can close it out at the top. Um, you have several widgets here so what we'll do is we'll pop into settings to show you what some of the options IntelliScreen X gives you are. Um, IntelliScreen X kind of splits notifications. It actually works with the default notifications as well. So anything you put in here, um, IntelliScreen X will abide by. So basically, uh, here's your top shelf. So anything, say I wanted uh, this ticker in here, I'd stick it right up there. Say I want it in Notification Center, I stick it right there. So you've got quite a few settings. Um, Obviously, a lot of these are going to work the same way you set up just in default iOS 5. Uh, you can also click into IntelliScreen settings right here. They have these nice little widgets, um, Twitter, RSS, Facebook, and Mail. Uh, Twitter, same thing. You sign into your Twitter account it pulls it native from iOS 5. And what that does is I'll show you, um, I'll drag these in here. One thing I have noticed when you have a bunch of these active, it seems to drain your battery. Um, I typically keep mail active, but, um, and I'll show you what this does. Is when you enable those, you pull down this screen, just like you would Notification Center, and now you've got these little tabs here. So, what you have is you can tab back and forth between mail, there's my Twitter account. Um, so basically, what you're looking at is your entire Twitter feed. Uh, say I wanted to reply to Renee, I can reply natively from right here. I never have to jump into the Twitter app. So it's kind of nice, but I've noticed that it does cause a little bit of battery drain. So I have those disabled, um, but for those of you that are hardcore with Twitter, uh, those are good options. Um, another thing I really like about IntelliScreen X is, say I had a Twitter notification from TweetBot. If I clear that, it actually clears the badge icon as well. So that works with any apps, Facebook, whatnot. If you clear it from IntelliScreen, it will clear it from there. Uh, let's jump back into settings here for a second and see what else we have. So you've got some customization op options here just as you do with lock info. Um, go to last page open, obviously it's going to just stay wherever you had it open last. Um, I do have it checked to show on lock screen. Turn off notification labels. Um, lock slide actions, what that does is how if you get a text it's slide to reply, you can disable that. I don't particularly like that because sometimes I go to unlock my phone and it unlocks something I didn't want it to open to, so I have that disabled. Um, yeah, for push notifications, if you don't want it to clear badges, you can tick that off. Uh, and change the opacity here. Um, status bar icons, uh, 
If you do use Bite SMS and you prefer that, you can tap into here. Um, I did have this work. Uh, I just ticked it off with Apple Messages, and um, it seemed to be okay. Um, it doesn't have built-in Byte SMS support, but it seems that if you just tag or tag it with uh, Apple Messages, it seems to integrate with that okay. So, um, yeah, you can also enable um, banners on the lock screen as well. So if you want banners to show up at the lock screen, you can also do that. I have it um, set to hide ISX for alerts, which basically means it doesn't... Um, my screen won't turn on, it'll stay dim, which I like because it seems to conserve battery life. So you can set whatever action or change the actions for when you want these to show up, etc. Um, on the lock screen, same thing. Um, one thing I do like is you can hide this. So then, um, yeah, so you're pretty good. Um, and now we'll take a look at lock info. So right now I've got lock info loaded on my phone for iOS 5. Uh, some of the key differences you're going to see here, and this is one thing that's always been one of my favorite things in the last major release of Lock Info, David Ashman included, uh, favorites. So anybody you have in your phone favorites, uh, they will show up right here, and you can tab through all of them. Um, so if I wanted to, you know, call someone in here, um, I just tap them. I can call, send message, or FaceTime. So that's nice to have from the default lock screen. Of course, you can also hide them. Same thing with calendar or anything else. Um, messages in here. Um, I do not have Byte activated right now. I typically use this in correspondence with Byte SMS or Messages Plus. I don't have it installed right now. But if I had Messages Plus installed, I'd have a little button down here right like I did before. Um, let's jump into settings for lock info and look at some of the main differences. So lock info settings are going to be on their own. Um, very similar to what you're used to if you've used lock info before. Uh, nothing's really changed. So you've got um, your main settings here. You can uh, collapse by default. Um, I never turn the silent status bar icon on. Um, home button, dismiss previews. Uh, lock info also comes with a uh, pop-up blocker. So if you've purchased a license for lock info, you're going to want to get pop-up blocker. What it'll do is it'll pop up anything or it'll lock or pop, it'll block anything on the lock screen that's not uh, blocked by default. So if you want lock info to handle them, that helps. Uh, pop-up blocker is also made by David Ashman. Um, under lock screen, uh, you can customize which plugins you want to be able to see on the lock screen. Uh, so if I want, maybe I don't want SP settings on my lock screen, but I want it on my pull down, I can do that. So you can see here, I have it um, set up to where it shows up in my lock screen, but or in just my notification center. But if you go to my lock screen, I don't have it configured for there because I typically don't need it from there. I just want it available from the pull down. So I have that set up. Um, you can also see that messages here on lock info, it shows a preview picture as well. So that's something that uh, I guess um, IntelliScreen X does not do. Uh, it also does not have favorites. So if favorites is a killer feature for you, you're going to go to lock info if you need quick toggles to those from your home screen. Uh, you can change the layouts. Um, so you can hide the lock clock. You can make it to where it'll show behind your slider and you can just scroll. Um, there's a lot of appearance settings. Uh, one thing about Lock Info 2 is there are quite a few themes, so you can actually theme this out. Some developers that create themes will create themes for Lock Info. It's been around for a long time. Um, IntelliScreen X is pretty new. Um, they did have IntelliScreen, the original version, but I'm not sure I would assume that IntelliScreen X is not compatible with some of the themes. I could be wrong. Um, you can change some little things like album art, showing background, screen dimming, um, alert pop-ups. Pop um, I basically, I use uh, pop-up blockers, so, but you can set them here to block pop-ups, um, wake when blocked, um, etc., stuff like that. This will integrate nicely with Byte SMS. Uh, one thing I have found that I do not like is, I don't know if it's a bug, but even if you block lock screen pop-ups, um, as of right now, uh, Byte SMS will still show that pop-up, the quick reply box, on your lock screen. So that's one thing I've found that's somewhat irritating that's kind of pushed me towards um, Messages Plus, which uh, it's probably not anything to do with lock info, but it is something to take into account that if you're going to use this, you might want to try it in, uh, in correspondence or in correlation with 
that's probably not the word I want to use, but you probably want to use it with Messages Plus if blocking pop-ups on your lock screen or your screen not coming on is a big deal to you. It is to me because I like to save battery life. Uh, not too much has changed in lock info, just a lot more tighter integration with iOS 5. There are certain things I really like about lock info that I necessarily don't like about IntelliScreen X. Um, IntelliScreen X is going to give you the widgets that you can scroll through for Twitter, Facebook. Uh, lock info does not have those. It's very simpler, similar to what you you're used to with lock info. Um, you can configure plugins separately. Um, you can somewhat do this in IntelliScreen X too. I think lock info gives you a little bit more control. Uh, you can basically customize your lock screen, your home screen, um, your info shade, which is basically notification center. Um, right here you can go into customize center. Um, and you can kind of change, this changes the look and feel. I use Customize Center. Um, it basically just adds things to Notification Center. So otherwise you can choose Info Shade to replace Notification Center, etc. It, it, the look and feel is a little bit different and the way it functions is a little different. So I have Customize Center. If I click on Info Shade, um, it's, not, it's not too much different. I might need to respring, but pretty much um, you're going to want to you're going to want to just mess with it and tweak the appearance and whatnot. Um, you also have some themes under appearance, so you can select different themes. I have iOS 5 uh, checked. I'm not a huge themer. I actually like the look of default iOS 5, so it's nice that I have that option here. It blends very nicely. Um, and change your font sizes. And pretty much it's, I think, between Lock Info and Telescreen X, it's really just going to depend on your personal preference when it comes to selecting one of these. For me, I've been switching back and forth right now. I'm using IntelliScreen X. Um, I find little bugs here and there and I switch over to lock info. Uh, I would say for people that are hardcore, you know, want to conserve battery life, um, want a little bit more customization, you might want to go with something like lock info. If you want more functionality in terms of uh, having widgets like IntelliScreen X does, I might say go with that um, if you're not so concerned with battery drain. Um, you have quick access to Facebook, Twitter, pretty much um, RSS feeds, whatnot. So you've got a lot more functionality, it seems, in IntelliScreen X right now, and that could change. For right now, I really think uh, which one you use is really just going to depend on your personal opinion and your personal preference as to what you need. Um, and that's pretty much our comparison of Lock Info and IntelliScreen X. Uh, make sure to let us know which one you like and why. Thank you.